Like, I could, I could see a change in him. He's dead. When I tell you I love him, I love him. Even when you have, when you love somebody, you have limits. Everybody tells me that. All my neighbors don't tell me that. The office, property manager. <laughs> At some point, somebody gets enough, and then they have to, to do something to defend themselves. I would just flee, and I don't know if you um, would like to see it on my phone, or I think it's I think it's actually on a laptop. I actually because, and you have to understand too, I have like prior to classes in PO, kicked him out how many times? I had him arrested how many times? But you also went down and bailed him out. I on. know. The next day. What's I know. What's on your laptop? Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, previously, mm -hmm. I actually looked up how to file a restraining order. Okay. So because I would take him out, his parents, because of them constantly having to take him back in, his bags of clothes, all his stuff. The one time, the last time, the father came out and irate and just not even, I, think, I don't even know if he knew Lucas was in the car. Just opened the back of my car and just started throwing all his crap in, just throwing it, like throwing it. Like the car would jostle, he was throwing all his stuff. At that point, because I continually did it, not continually, I think I maybe did it three times, and he has nowhere else to go, they got fed up and said, nope, either you're staying there or you're staying here. But if you're staying here at their place, it's permanent. So, so what you're saying, Sarah, is that his parents had got to a point where it was like, this bitch is fucking bad. Like, if, if you want to stay with her, you're staying with her. But if you're staying here, you're, you're, you're not seeing her because this bitch is bad news. Also, the stuff about the car jostling as he threw his stuff in. How, what, what do you have? A fucking, a Robin Reliant or a tuk-tuk? What was they throwing in there that was that heavy? It made a car move. You're not going back over there anymore. So what happens is he pursues me. So... I don't know if you all know where Katie Way Trail is. Okay, so we, it's literally right, right there from our apartment. Mm -hmm. Would ride his bike to work, but before he would leave extra early and come up to the wall, stand on top of his bike and poke his head over because he would know that I would be outside having my morning cigarette and cup of coffee. Where, and I would also know too what time he would get off of work, where I would know, come getting off of work, he's going to do the same thing. So it's not like I ever got like a break from him where I told you all yesterday or whenever it was, I started to feel that it was too much togetherness. And when you have too much togetherness, friction happens. If, if he's popping his head, I love the idea, he pops his head up in the morning like, and he knows I'm there because I'm having my morning coffee and cigarette. Here's a tip, Sarah. If it's bothering you, don't fucking have it outside. You presumably can smoke indoors. Or have it a different time. Have it half an hour earlier. You know, it's like fucking home. In, it's like it's like the next. It's like the neighbour in Home Improvement. He's always there. And she talk. And again, she talks about togetherness. When you're together, there's friction. Yes, sir. There's probably friction. There's friction with you. This is half hour in, and already, you, you know, you're driving. Any anyone who's watched this, you, you've driven them fucking insane. They already can't stand being around you. So I'm going to go ride my bike. I'm going to go upstairs and read a book. But what he, every, what does he say? Every waking moment he wants to be with me. So, and mind you, our townhome is either upstairs or downstairs. So it's like if you would like to sit downstairs and watch a movie or play on the laptop, look up some jobs, you're more than welcome to. I'm just going to be upstairs maybe watching one of my shows or maybe reading a book. So, and then when that would happen... We really needed that. So what's for dinner? And then we would cook together and eat dinner and then crawl on the bed and watch a movie. Are you talking about this is, like, recent? I don't you kind of, like, lost me? Like, when, what are you It was a about? while ago, like, a little while ago. <clears throat> but I mean, now you're talking about, now you're talking about tension building up and that you need space. So have you been feeling that way lately or? No. No, no okay. I haven't no. felt that way lately. So why are you telling us? It's fucking irrelevant. Also, how many books has this woman read? I guarantee you she's read, she's probably, I have a feeling, I've got this feeling that she's one of these fucking people who reads The Secret, right? All she reads are these fucking, these, 
motivational self-help books that do nothing but sit there and tell you that you're brilliant. Everything, everything. Because you know, I can't imagine this woman. This woman just seems to be incapable of taking on any kind of information because that would involve her being able to accept there are people out there who know things that she doesn't. <laughs> My thing is too, so you all know. Oh, I, I hate that you can't talk to her, but um, D, his ex-wife. When I say a monster, she's a monster. So imagine. A, can you imagine a bigger compliment right now than having this woman call you a monster, right? And she's a monster. He went from her to hit to to Sarah. I mean, I would love to fucking see. I'd love to meet this woman because. This woman, because whoever she is, she there's a possibility that his ex is someone who made Sarah Boone likable and attractive. Like it does, she withholds her their children from speaking to him, so he gets upset about that, and then she like completely berates him about money, about the father that he is, what he did to her, all this other stuff. It doesn't matter. I mean, mind you, this has not like been recent. But, which is why he didn't even bother calling anymore, because he knows that he's, she's going to answer and he's going to have to talk to her, so therefore he can't talk to his daughter. The other time, he talked to her, made, made her talk to Cookie. That's on my cell phone, too, so you can see it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. What does she have to do, though, with anything about what happened Sunday and into Monday? Like, no, I'm just saying, like, previously, okay. why the incidents... What happened is she plays a big part in it. Oh, yes, again, of course. That's why she's bringing it up, because it's, you know, part of the reason that George lost his back was, again, nothing to do with her. It was his ex-wife who's not there. It's her fault. Uh, it's everyone's fault but her. It's everyone's fault but Sarah's. Okay. On her yeah. job yeah. and money and groceries and all that. Groceries? They would... Uh, what? Food? Okay. Sunday, I... <laughs> when I tell you this, I have no idea. I have no idea. Is there anybody else at the house? No, nope, it's just point? me and him. Um, I'm trying to work out what Sarah's thought process is. George has got all of these injuries, right? And n she didn't lay it, and nobody laid a hand on each other. Nobody else was there. The only people there were her and Sarah and George, and yet he's got all of these injuries, and and she's like, it's like, well, what do you suggest? What's the alternative? He did them to himself, or someone broke in, battered George around the head with an iron bar, and then left for no reason? If you recall, when you went upstairs to hide in the shower, or... Like when we started to play, hide mm -hmm. and seek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well... We went inside probably about, if I had to guess, we, were, we weren't out there too long. Maybe about six-ish. Then... You're talking about from hanging out outside and like... Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we have two beach chairs that are out there. And right. Just enjoy the weather. Gotcha. Plus, it started to get dark and gnats and mosquitoes. Yeah. So, let's go inside. I don't want to be out here anymore. Okay. All right, let's go. So, we're doing whatever. We did it for a while because that puzzle, I don't know if, if they took it or they saw it. Um, worked on the puzzle again, finished it, started to paint, well, started listening to music for a little bit, started to paint, uh, can we turn the music off? No problem. Started to talk, paint, whatever. Maybe, gosh, that puzzle, we worked on that for probably a good hour and a half, so eight o'clock-ish? Is when you went to hide upstairs originally? No, that's when we were like painting. So then it's like, okay, well, I, we can't. I don't want to paint anymore. Let's just, ugh, come on. Okay, you want to play hide and seek? What he does is, okay, tag, you're it. Well, so it's like, okay, we know. Okay, take off. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. And then you went upstairs, and then he didn't come up, and you came down. And the suitcase was there originally because you guys were planning to do donations, including so it was already suitcase. there. Um, have you guys ever played the, you said you played hide and seek like probably three times in your relationship? Mm -hmm. When you have played, have you ever zipped him up in a suitcase prior? No. Okay. So That's it was just kind of like that prop was there and it was there. Yes. Yes. It was just there because we were donating stuff to something. 
to orphans, blind orphans. We were giving away, I was giving away my, that's what, it just happened to be there. And it was in play because... Why do you say it like that, though? I would <coughs> never do that. I would never do that. Let's, let's also talk about the fact that if you're playing hide and seek, it it you know, kind of defeats the purpose, particularly with there's two people, it kind of defeats the purpose if one person helps the other person hide. You know... You would never zip them up in a suitcase? Uh, well, I, mean, I mean, we were playing. No, I know, but, time, I'm, but I'm saying... I'm, well, I'm talking about hide and seek, which is a game, so... The suitcase originally is in our closet, buried all the way to the back. If you, I don't, I know the CSI people saw our closet. Our closet needs to be cleaned out really bad. My son's clothes need to be cleaned out really bad because they don't fit him anymore, and I'm tired of looking at them. So he took it upon himself, including that suitcase to take it downstairs so we can get all of our clothes, our donations and everything. That, that was very odd, the way she said he took it upon himself. Like, he took the suitcase out. It was way back in the... It was way, way back... Like fucking Narnia. It's, like, it's way back in the closet there. He, he decided he took the suitcase out. Which led to... Had he not done that, it wouldn't have... So if anything, this is his fault. And just leave the whole thing by the clothing and shoe thing at my son's school. No, we're just. Ask, I'm just asking. Yeah. Out of the in the past, like, have have you ever zipped him up in anything, jokingly or not? But obviously, no. I understand. You know, you're claiming that Sunday it was a joking matter. You were laughing. Yes. He was laughing. But what I'm just asking is, in the past, like, is it something Absolutely that you not. guys normally do? Absolutely not. I love. I love the way she said. Absolutely not. Like, what would it matter? In fact, if anything, it would probably help your case if you had done this before. Because then it would show that, you know, the fact that you've never done this before and now you've decided to do it and it's resulted in him dying kind of would suggest that maybe, you know, this wasn't as light-hearted as you made out. Okay. Um, we were actually this last game running out of places to hide because we have a townhome where it's upstairs or downstairs. How fucking massive is this place? You're running out of places to hide. So. Um, okay, so do you remember making any videos or maybe having any cover? This is the point. We're 37 minutes into the interrogation. This is the point where everything she's just said is going to come back and bite her on the arse. So remember, remember everything she's just said. And now... She just asked her, do you remember making any videos? Because they've obviously, she knows that they've got her phone and stuff, and they have gone through it. And, uh, well, let's let's see, shall we? Anything, any t photos, videos that you remember doing on your phone on Sunday? No. <coughs> no. I uh, think I took a picture of a dog. I think I took a picture of just a dog. a Just a random dog. Was it the one he was dancing with? Okay. I mean, I like, I guess, but I, I maybe took a picture of them, the two of Tess and the dogs, and George and have them dancing, but I mean, or the, it's just Tess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I have something that I want to show you that we found, um, and it was from your phone. Mm -hmm. right. Now, what she's going to show here is a video that Sarah made. Uh, of George, you know, while he was in the suitcase. And I'm not going to show you, you know, you'll be able to hear the audio that they're playing. Um, I'm not going to show you the video. I, I I don't want to show you that video. It's really hot, unpleasant. And, and also, as someone who suffers from severe claustrophobia, just, you know, I, I can't, I don't think I could even edit it in. It would, I, I couldn't bring myself to watch it even for editing. But suffice to say, what you're going to see, what you would be seeing, and you can see it elsewhere in other videos, is George in a suit, is in a suit, is in the suitcase, and she's filming, filming it. This is a video that she didn't, doesn't remember making. Can you see it? 
If you need to move it around, go ahead. No, I don't remember that. For everything you've done to me. I, I love the fact that she says, I don't remember that. And as soon as she says that, you hear her voice. For everything you've done to me. Your battery's about to die. Shut it down. Oh, okay. Let me... The battery doesn't last very long. Yeah, it used to last a lot longer than that. I don't know what happened. Okay. Let me just grab something. All right. I love that if you watch it, she's just staring forward now, not looking at anyone. Like it's like it's just dawning on her how much. Like she realizes that she, if she, if she was on stilts, she'd still be up to her eyes in shit right now. <laughs> no, I was just simply asking because um, you had a, a look on your face when she asked you if you've ever done that before. You look kind of shocked and. No. Okay, but why did you say it like that? Like. I don't think you all understand who I am. So listen, I don't think you you need to understand who I am. No, no, no I don't think. I think. I think we do understand who you are. So I know that you think that you're this complex bit, but you ain't, right? right? You need to understand who I am, right? If you until you understand everything about me and how who and the brilliant genius I am, none of this will make any sense. It will. It you know. It could look bad to the to a normie like you. Maybe at this moment, Sarah, the one thing you shouldn't do is be a patronising bitch to the fucking police interrogators. Just... Where? Okay. Well, tell me. I mean, I've always been a straight-A student. I am an outstanding mother to my son. Okay. I excel at everything. She, she's right there. You do excel at everything, Sarah. I mean, you didn't... Do, most people just, you know, if they do drink alcohol, do it casually. You decided, no, I'm going to be a full-blown fucking alcoholic. I'm going to make it... I'm going to drink to the point where it becomes... I get a physical dependency on it, right? When I play hide-and-seek, I'm not just going to play hide-and-seek. No, I'm actually going to murder the other person who's involved in the game with me. Honestly, I excel at everything. Look at where you are in life. Look at that. Look at the state of your life. And what have you excelled at? Imagine saying this. Imagine trying. Uh, I excel at every. What has that got to do with anything you're fucking that's happening right now? I. I would not do that. Again, I would not do that because I'm a straight A student. I passed my, I passed my 11 plus. I would not do, you did do that. That's why you're fucking here. You wouldn't lock some, zip somebody in a suitcase? Well, I didn't like completely lock it. I mean, I opened it with one finger. Now this is new information she hasn't put for you. I would, I, I would lock it with one finger. Yes, from the outside, right? From the outside, you know, generally, Generally, suitcase. That's how suitcase. That's how zips work. They work from the outside. I left enough in there for him to get out. Oh, oh, you left enough in there. For, oh, right. Okay. Well, that obviously explains why he why he was able to. What? Well, we just want you to watch this. This came yeah. from your phone. Don't you want to know what's on it? Yes, please. <coughs> Is it long? Is it long? You, I mean, is it long? What sort of question is that? Because I don't know how much I can take. I, th I think I think Sarah honestly believes that if she can't watch it, then it doesn't count. Right? Like this, 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 this doesn't matter. This doesn't count. No, no, no. You can't use this because I can't. I don't know. I, I, I mean. You 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 were able to take it at the time. You were you made the fucking thing. I don't know how much I can take.
do I have to watch this? I continuously throw up. I don't sleep. I don't want to see it, if that's okay. You continuously throw up. I don't sleep. What's that got to do with anything? Why, why do you continuously throw up and not sleep? What? Where did that come from? It just, you just, you're just throwing any shit you can. Do I have to watch this? <clears throat> well, it's on your phone. And you can either explain it or we take it for what it is. Yeah. We're just trying to give you the opportunity to tell us what's going on. Did you see what she did there? As soon as the police said, either you watch this and maybe you can explain what it is, or we're just going to watch it and take it for take it at face value. Do you know what she does? She leans right in. Right. Suddenly all that stuff about, I don't want to watch this, I'll be sick, I'll throw up, I'll dissolve. I don't want, my bones will evaporate. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, I, oh, if I, oh, okay. Mm. I mean, fucking hell. That's it. It's that long, two minutes. For everything you've done to me. <coughs> For everything you've done to me. Oh. Fuck you. Oh. And Fuck is, you. That's you, oh. your voice. Stupid. She said, that's my name, don't wear it out. I mean, for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's when you do when you choke me. I don't want to watch it, please. Okay. Last, last time we talked to you, you said that you put him in the suitcase, he had two fingers hanging out. And you I went flipped him over. I flipped him over, and that's where it was. There's two different videos and a still picture where, yeah, it shows you flipping him in different positions and him saying that he can't breathe and you saying, fuck So you. this is upside down. So in order for him to have gotten into it, it was flipped up. Right. It was flipped up normal. Yes. Like, as if you're packing something. So this is upside down. Guys, this is killing me right now. No, no, you didn't mishear her. She just said, this is killing me right now. And this is one of... I don't think that she says this, like, with a, you know, with a malicious... She doesn't realise how fucked up it is for her to say that in this circumstance, because this woman is pure evil. So this image is upside down, and then this small video that occurred 11 minutes later, it's flipped over the other way, closer to your dining room table. Okay. Now he's obviously still in there. So he didn't, how did that, how did it go from the back to the front? I flipped it. Okay. My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. My plan was not to go... That wasn't my plan. That's just what... That's just what happened. You know? What did you go upstairs for? How do you accidentally just... How do you don't she doesn't remember this happening. Remember this. Remember her earlier. I was not drunk. I was I can't get drunk. I don't I don't want to get drunk. N never get drunk nothing. I was comp totally compassmentous and yet she doesn't remember that this video she doesn't remember making this video two of them taking a picture she doesn't remember this happening. How drunk do you do you have to be? Well, that's what you did. Yeah. But not intentional one. Okay. You know that thing where somebody says a word, the same word, and you hear it over and over and over and over again in quick succession, and then eventually it just it goes from being a word that you recognise to an obscure sound that's just meaningless, right? That is now going to happen with the word intentional intentionally or unintentional right that's going to happen now 
you, if you want to, if anyone out there wants to, you know, do an uh, do an unintentional or a not intentionally uh, uh, count uh, for the rest of this video, you're welcome to. Uh, you know, we can we can compare numbers at the end because in in recording this, I had I actually had to I actually decided for the first time to actually try and record the amount of time she says it. Um, but that's going to happen now. It's going to and to the point where it's going to drive you fucking insane. Right. Because she seems to think she, she Sarah seems to be under this amazing delusion that intention is what makes something illegal. Like if you didn't mean something to happen, it can't be a crime. Again, 42 years old. No, you told me you went upstairs because what? you were Stop getting here. ready for bed. Stopped here. Okay, but Where's here? show me where you can see any fingers coming out. Because there's it's, the end. It's And his head's right here. Mm -hmm. So going like this, rather than going all the way up, it's like this. Now, she's going she's gonna to keep running back to this idea that she left a gap in the zip so he could undo it. Which, again... The, why she's going with this, I don't know, because the implication is that either he chose not to open the suitcase, right? Because she said he was sticking two feet. He chose not to open it. Like, or you know, he just was too stupid to, to figure out to open it. Or he just did this on purpose just to annoy her. But why is he saying I can't breathe and why is he pushing on it as if he can't get out? And it doesn't if, show a hole. You, there's, there's no, no hole. There's no fingers. I don't see his fingers. There's no hole. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't know like what you want me to tell you. Another tip here, Sarah. Never say that to the police when they're interrogating you. And you, you know, over, you know, some over the murder of someone, that, you know, who was, who, and you are clearly, you know, in the frame here. Never say, I don't know what you want me to tell you, right? They don't want you to tell them anything. So they don't, you know, they're asking you questions. You give them the answer. You know, that's it. That's how it works here. They don't give it. Them personally, they have no investment. In whether or not, in what you say. I'm just showing you, I'm just telling you what we see and what we've heard from the other I video. I understand. I understand. He's begging to let, for you to let him out. You sound, you're laughing in the beginning and then in the end it sounds kind of like a, no, it's not malicious. Well, saying fuck you. It's not malicious. I mean, come on, the way she said that, it's, it's not malicious. Sounds very sincere. Yeah, fuck you. Help me, I can't breathe. Fuck you. That's not malicious. Imagine saying that. Imagine being in a scenario where you said, help me, I, I can't breathe. And they say, fuck you. And like, lol, it's just, a, j j lol, just kidding, bro. It's not malicious. The looks she fucking giving the, I mean, it's fucking, it's incredible. Then what is that? What does fuck you mean to you? Well, like if you were to, if I were to tell my Oh, like she does. Like, I get called <laughs> everything but a white woman. I get called everything but... But you're alive, Sarah. It doesn't matter what you're... When they call you these things, do you happen to be in a suitcase struggling to breathe? So, okay. I... My intention was not to leave him in there. Please understand that. My intention was not... To leave him in there. But you went upstairs thinking yeah. that he could get himself yes. out, but the video shows That's at what no I told point you. can I see his fingers. He'll and be up here any like, minute. And then 30 minutes later, he didn't show. And he's telling and you. And I he didn't wake up. In, ca in, case, in case you missed that, what she's saying is that she assumed he would be able to escape. So when she went upstairs, she, she literally just said, if you missed it, she might have missed it because she was said it, and it was, all of them were talking. She said, and, you know, and I can't wake up, you know, like, I can't, I can't wake up, would you, you know, because when she says intentionally, I, I did not intentionally, go, she means that 
She went upstairs, go to sleep, and then it's on him to escape. That's what she means. She thought, oh, well, he'll, he'll, he'll escape and come back up. And when he did it, and now it's, so it's not her fault. Even though, because she thought he'll let himself out. Why would you, what? This is, this is, what, lawyer up, folks. If the, if these interrogation videos on the, if this, if you, if watching these has taught you nothing else, lawyer the fuck up. Do you He's think he's joking? To you told me he was laughing, and I we were before. The video, there's, there's no. We laughing. first got in there. Both of us were. So how long was he in there for? Like this video is at eleven twelve when it starts. So was he in there for like a long time prior to no. recording this? No. No, 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 no. We were laughing. It was hilarious. No, no. The, if, the, everything before, before, like before the, the video started. Everything was great. It was that ever we were laughing, joking, and then literally milliseconds, I turned the camera on. No. So it goes from funny to no longer funny. But I you're the only one laughing. But I didn't think that he was like panicky. I can't breathe. I don't. You know. Aside from saying I am panicking, I can't think of three words that could better convey an, a sense of urgency and panic than I can't breathe. Like I didn't, I, so pushing up on a suitcase saying Sarah, 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. George has done that in the past before too, where it's just like he thinks that he's, woe is me kind of thing, where it's like, well, I don't He's think. never been locked in a suitcase, so no. he couldn't get out, so. It's kind of. I thought it was and the boy you know the calling wolf, crying wolf. You, you thought it was the boy calling wolf. Well, the wolf turned up. Pretty big fucking wolf. Kind of thing. Okay. And again, my plan. But, that, but nowhere in there is he laughing, is he joking, he is begging. And you're the only one laughing. Okay. And you're the only one saying derogatory comments. Like you're mad. No. Please don't. I don't mean to sound negative, and I don't know if I can say this, but, <coughs> like, it's like you guys are kind of trying to, like, feed me. Like, no, I'm just trying to show you a video that yeah. you no longer want to watch because you probably don't want to know the outcome of how and what you said. Well, I know what... You know, you know what's on that video now? No. You remember making that video? No. Oh. Why don't you remember making the video? Probably because we had been drinking. Wait, she's about to... About to top this. But you weren't drunk. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. That that movement and that look she gives, like, like, uh, hello. We weren't drunk. Like, uh, uh, obviously, quite clearly, we were. Like, as if she hasn't just spent the last 45 minutes talking about how competent, how she was totally compass mentors, how she was not drunk, how she had her, she had her wits about her, right? And now she's like, uh, uh, bitch, please, we weren't drunk. Are you fucking mental? Look, did you not see that? Of course we were drunk. I was gatted. I was fucking shit-faced, love. Just because I went upstairs and... Just you because you're us, drunk doesn't you mean that you... times that you were not drunk. You said that you had your wits <coughs> about you. You said he had his wits about you. Mm -hmm. You said that you don't like not having your wits. In my experience, if somebody cannot remember doing something to the extent of making two videos and a video and taking a photo, they are intoxicated. Okay. I understand where you all are coming from. See, the, now, she says she gets it, but she clearly doesn't. Well, we're just it. trying to make sense of it. We're trying to figure it. out right. what We're trying to saying. figure out this you video. You explain it to us. We're listening. I <coughs> just did. Like, we were playing, and then, like, I thought it was, my plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. And we go right back to where we were before. It wasn't, I, it was not my plan. I did not, you know, this was not the, even though that's what you did. That wasn't the plan. I don't know what the point she's making with this, but she's going to hang. She realizes now, I think, that she's fucked on every level, she's fucked. So the only thing she can do is hang, is hang her, her hopes on, on this one point. My plan was not to, 
he'll be up here any minute. But you yeah. willingly went upstairs and went to sleep. No one forced you to go upstairs and get My pain wasn't bed. also to leave him in the suitcase. So why didn't you take him out? Because I went upstairs and then I fell asleep. I mean, I mean, can't, duh, figure it out. My plan was not to go upstairs and my plan was not to leave him in the suitcase. Well, why didn't you let him out of the suitcase? Because I went upstairs. Which would, you know, if anything, what this, what this does prove is that free will does not exist. Right. This this case proves that free will is an illusion because Sarah, nothing that happened, nothing, nothing that happened that night was what she wanted to do or what she planned to do. But it happened right? as it was happening. She must have been going, why, why are you going upstairs, Sarah? There's, why don't you let him out of the suitcase? You know, that's it. So there you go, folks. Determinism. Right. Against free will. Right. The, the debate's over. Right. That's. That's the one thing we can take from this. But why didn't you consciously think he's asking to come out? He can't I didn't breathe. do it intentionally. What do you think is going to happen if you leave somebody in a confined space like that? <clears throat> well, I thought by not zipping it up all the way, it would be okay. My plan was not to leave him in the and suitcase. what was your plan? Waiting for him to come upstairs. Okay, him doing something cannot be part of your plan. That's not your plan. My plan is for this to happen, and then for him to do this. That's not your plan. And then when he did it, I fell asleep. You said you were up there 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, somebody not coming up. I Knowing that you that the last time you saw him was in the suitcase, 30 minutes later, you're like, mm, maybe I should go check on him, maybe I shouldn't. No. Well, you didn't, that didn't cross your mind because that's it like didn't an, That's like an assumption. Like, that's what you all are thinking, just... Yes, Sarah, that is... That, to be fair, that is an assumption, but it's... It's one that I think is, like, you know... It's way beyond the... The ass-out-of-you-and-me section of assumption. We're asking. It's the whole... You tell us. It's the drinking. And now we've got... So now we've gone from... I was not drunk, I wasn't drunk, I was totally, co I had my wits about me, to this whole thing is, you know, we were drunk, we were so drunk that all of the, that is the reason. We, we've gone from that, it's taken less than an, it's taken less than 45 minutes. That's what it is. It's the drinking. I thought it was, like, I thought he was okay, like, I didn't, that, you he's all... telling you he's not. He's telling you, Sarah, I, I can't I... breathe. He's saying your name, and you're like, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Guys, that's how we are with each other. It, we're always getting into little scrapes where one of them's like, I can't breathe. Let me out. Hey, quick. I'm dying. And the other one's like, eh, yeah, fuck you, Bender. Like, he has... Nobody understands our relationship. Well, yeah, well, it, and guess what? Now I guess nobody ever will. And obviously that's going to work in court as well, isn't it? Sorry, Your Honour, but you just can never understand the complexities and the, you know, and the, you know, of our relationship. So therefore, on that basis, you cannot, you know, you cannot charge me or accuse me of anything because you just don't understand how how we how we are. You know, we're a wacky couple. This, the whole suitcase thing, never happened before. Okay, now how do you go from that? I don't think, you know, you just don't, nobody understands our relationship. This whole suitcase thing never happened before. She didn't, Sarah, you didn't even know, you didn't know that you'd made this video until they showed it to you. So what do you mean nobody understands our relationship? You didn't plan to go upstairs, you didn't plan to fall asleep, and you didn't plan to leave him in the suitcase, but all of those things happened. Would you leave someone else in a suitcase? Would you leave Lucas in a suitcase jokingly? Because it was a no. joking matter, you put him in there jokingly. Would you leave Lucas jokingly no. in there? And you love Lucas, right? And you love I wouldn't George. do that to him, either. I wouldn't do that to him. She's pointing at the screen, saying, I wouldn't do that to him. Even Donald Trump never has even gone to this level, right? She's just pointing at the I wouldn't do that. The thing that I'm on video doing.
that I recorded myself. Also, side note, like it was found, like people dived into her Facebook page after this and found, actually found photogra- photos of her son Lucas in a suitcase that she had taken. Right? Again, they were actually joking. You know, he obviously, unfortunately, lived. Right? But so, so she had done this before. She's just got a suitcase thing. That's her thing. She has a suitcase kink. I don't know. But she just pointed at the fucking video and said. I wouldn't do that. Imagine, I mean, can you imagine? I couldn't do that out of embarrassment. So, I, I just, well, so I'm like, again, I don't think you all understand. Like, it's, I mean, it's not my, that was not my intention. <laughs> well, I, y'all don't have any idea what I've done for him. But by your acts, and that's exactly right. You get to the point where you've done so much for somebody and they don't no. show you any appreciation. He did. You see, now, what the copper, what that policeman, what that officer just did was try to give her a, a little bit of an out. Because if there was a, if it was the case where she felt she had been driven to a point where, you know, by, by, through mistreatment by him, that, that he, she had been driven to this point where she, like, acted like this, you know, then there could be a, a sort of an argument about diminished responsibility. You know, there could be, that that argument could, you know, could be there. Like, she was being, you know, she was so abused to the point where she l- lashed out. And that would actually benefit her. But she is so, this woman is fucking such an egomaniac that doing that would admit that somehow she was not as brilliant as she had made out she was. So she can't even admit that. That is, that is an amazing fucking level of narcissism. Not by, by your words in the video. I don't get that. He did. Because you bring up the fact that when he's choking you, you can't breathe. That's how you felt when he cheated on you. You couldn't breathe. And you verbally several times told him just me. fuck you. Well, you well, said it you in the said video, it in the but video. you won't let us play the rest of it. You don't and want you, to. When I say cheating, him. it's um, on his phone. What you, she says cheating on his phone, but he used your phone. So he was cheating with someone else. That is a fucking baller move, right? But also, she, she's saying it like, oh god, it was it was it was cyber cheating. You brought it up. It's not like they're, they're not throwing this out there and they're not saying that, you, you know, this is a reason, you know, they're not saying we found this, that he was cheating and she's just dismissed. She brought it up. Okay. <laughs> cheating is cheating. I and think so cheating, too. Exactly. It's your definition of cheating though. So, I mean, yeah. that's what she, the word cheat means. And that's what you told him in the video. That I couldn't breathe when you cheated on me. No. That's how I felt when he said, Sarah, I can't breathe. And you told I don't know you. This is. What would you say if somebody told you that they had done this? Done what? Is that somebody in a suitcase and went up and went to bed? Do you all not think? So you all think that it's like, oh, good, I got him in there. Now I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh, this is a brilliant tactic. Good one, Sarah. Going for the whole. Wait, you're you're saying that I just put him in a suitcase, fucking did it up, and then went to bed on purpose and left him there to die. Like, are you like, like, really? That's what you, you, that's, you're just assuming that? Based on nothing more than the fact that that is literally a 100% accurate description of what actually happened? Is that what you guys are trying to assume? Or trying to, like, or just the video is very portraying of the opposite of what you told us. No. It does not, it is not leading up it is not matching what statement you gave us in the car. So And that's why we want to know. And I don't injuries, remember doing this. The injuries okay. are not consistent with what you told us. So we have a lot of inconsistencies. And this video explains itself. It really, truly does. Do you don't think that I have thought about <coughs> that? Thought about the video or thought about... But no, again, if you don't mind, please. Oh, oh. God, this is not the time to be sassy with the fucking interrogators, Sarah. And then she says, do you not think that I didn't think about that? You didn't even know you'd made the fucking thing. 
So you all are assuming that it's like, oh, good, I got him in there, now I'm going to go to sleep? Is that what you all are assuming? Well, it's not an assumption when that's what you told us that that happened. That's what mm -hmm. happened. And the video, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but I'm not going to say you thought he could get out on his yes. job. But the video shows that he cannot get out on his own. But I, if, but when I unzipped it, I unzipped it with one finger. From the outside. But it had the hole in it. Again, going back to this thing, there was a gap for him to escape. But he didn't. He, mate, get, don't stop going down. And you're claiming that it had a paper clip, so that's what assisted you in doing it. No. Is what you told us. When I had my sweatshirt, <coughs> I said I thought it had a paper clip on it. It's got. But the zipper part is broken. That. Yes. Yeah, which is why we were going to zip it. Yeah. I I just. You were able to unzip it from the outside, very easily, because that's the way they're designed. But you could on the inside too. I don't know how. But why wouldn't he have gotten himself out if he could? He was I don't know. Like I don't know if he saw like where the hole was. I don't know. I didn't see a hole. No, I didn't see, see no hole. fingers You're sticking the only one out. That, that's what I'm saying. Like he's in one position, yeah. and where his head would be, we should be able to see fingers. Yeah. And then when it's flipped over onto this right side. Again, his head is closer to us facing the video, so we should be able to see fingers. And we don't see anything. We see no movement of him trying to unzip it or physically unzipping it. All we see is pushing up, trying to push out of it. Please do not assume. Please, please do not assume. I mean, no one should be making assumptions other than me, who assumed that he could escape, who assumed that he would escape, and who assumed that she could go upstairs and go to sleep, and then he would be out. He would he would let himself out, even though he clearly didn't. Right? I mean, imagine. I mean, are you suggesting that he did it because he was trying to? He's trying to wind you up. I'm not assuming. I haven't opinion. assumed anything. I follow evidence. But my intention was not, again, oh good, I got him in there, now I'm just going to go to sleep. What do you think someone that knows nothing about this or hears just a little bit like, oh, they were playing around in a suitcase She's been and, drinking then, and then watching and probably that video. Went to sleep. She just, she just fucked herself again. She's been drinking and probably went to sleep. What, on purpose? Do you think they would think, oh, it, but not intentionally? Just because you do something when you're drunk that you wouldn't do when you were sober doesn't mean it wasn't intentional. That's what happened. But you let him out before. I mean, you put him in, so why didn't you take him out? That, because I was upstairs and I fell asleep. No, before you went upstairs. You, like, consciously had to walk upstairs. Do you, I mean, you obviously remember going to bed because you were able to give me a time frame on that. Mm -hmm. And you specifically mm -hmm. told me that. that you... It is kind of bizarre that she's got a time frame on everything, but doesn't remember making that video. I don't. My intention <coughs> is not for this to happen. I am sick about it. I've never done anything like this before in the past. All, all of these are well-known, brilliant... Ex all of these, these points uh, have never been brought up by anyone accused of any crime ever before. And, and I'm sure they are all brilliant that i've never done this before no one's ever fucking said that right this was not my i didn't it, this was not my intention no one's ever said that before right and i am sick you, well earlier you said you were you said you just threw up all the time anyway so how do you know you're sick from this i am sick oh okay then go home especially with that i thought i couldn't sleep last night what do you mean you thought you couldn't sleep last night? Well, did you? You either did or you didn't. And if you didn't sleep last night, what's that? What's the end of that sentence? Man, I thought I couldn't sleep last night. I'm definitely not going to be sleeping tonight. That's two nights without any sleep. Do you know? Do you know the effect that, that has on it? I don't yeah, know. Well, here's the thing. You tell us the last night. You you vividly remember this when you told us last night that he was laughing, you were laughing, you put him in the suitcase, he has two fingers sticking out, and you go to bed. He was laughing, you were laughing, he had two fingers sticking out, and you could, that could have been describing a very different series of events. Now we see something totally different, 
and it actually shows you upset and again using uh, derogatory terms to him when he's begging for his life to get out of that suitcase. So, so what but my you say we're the, assuming, we're not assuming, but we're the telling finger, you what's on but, there. So it just happened to be that whenever I was videotaping or doing whatever else it was, it ha just happened to not have that in it. Oh, 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 of course! You just happen to not film all of the other bits that prove that you're completely and utterly innocent and this is not in any way your fault. Oh, dr bugger. Okay. And you also, in the video, you can't see any holes. There's nowhere in that where the zipper separates and you can see a hole. If there's a hole, he's pushing on it, begging you to get out. We should probably see that, that, that hole. That he eventually would have been able to get out. Huh. Alcohol. Based off what you're telling us, he should have yes. been able to get out. Okay. But the video shows him attempting to get out, begging to get out, and he can't. So that's, that's just what we're trying to figure out. I don't know if maybe you had too much to drink, you zipped it up all the way, and then, you know... I did not zip it up all the way. Okay, well... I did not zip it up all the way. I, I did not... That was very convincing. I did not zip it up all the way. I definitely... Remember, I don't remember anything else that happened. I, I had no memory of it, but I definitely remember the one thing that might, might get me out of this. This is horrific, okay? Horrific. It is terrible. Yeah, horrific. I don't think I'll ever be right because of this. Right. Do you know what, Sarah? I agree. But to be fair, that was true long before this fucking conversation took place. Ever be right. Dealing with everything else that I have in my life, personally, mm -hmm. and then this. Can I suggest, Sarah, that all of the other stuff you're dealing with personally, right? Can I suggest you put that shit on the back burner and maybe move this to the focus of your fucking imp problems in life? Okay. Whom I loved. It was not intentional. I will put my hand on the Bible. I mean, that'll do, that'll do for me. Yeah. I mean, everyone in goes to court puts their hand on the Bible. You will put your hand on the Bible as well at some point, you know.